Hey guys, I'm going to show you some journaling stuff I've been into lately and just stuff I've got in the past few months. I don't really remember when the last video I made was, so it's my current journal. I got this for myself for Christmas and this is how much it's done. So it's really, I'm feeling stuff a lot slower than I used to. I can pretty much write a paragraph at a time before my hand starts feeling like it's going to fall off and gets numb, but um, I made this little earring in a jewelry class I took recently and same with this sterling hammered bracelet that was pretty fun to make. But I tried to make it textured and that kind of looked a little weird. Um, anyway, I got this for myself for Christmas, and I got it from Barnes & Noble, um, it's by Paper Source, and Jeremiah Brent I've never heard of, but apparently he's, like, has it, like, he's on HGTV, and I just liked it, because it's kind of got a vintage look going on, going on, um, and same with this one, really. I've been into, like, this is the, kind of the colors of my, like, apartment, this, um, I never sit on this couch, but we're in my office, and this, it's like a mustard yellow. I just have, like, neutral colors and a pink rug that's got hair on it. <laughs> but anyway, I've been liking, like, vintage just calming colors. And this is an embroidered journal. I got it at Mars and Noble, too. I'm pretty sure it's Rifle Paper Company. Uh, but this one, this hardcover's actually helping. I use this as a bedside that sounds dark. Um, I went to see the movie Cabrini yesterday and she made, she founded like orphanages and hospitals and stuff. So like bedside now makes me think of death, death. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, nightstand journal and, um, I actually wrote an entire page last night and it hurt my hand, but I actually could do it. So that if you're having a hard time journaling, maybe try a, maybe trying a different pen and a hardcover might help. Um, and then I got, uh, a gift card for my friend on here and I got three these three journals that are also that same Jeremiah Brent brand from Barnes and Noble and this one's actually really hard to write with but I just like the color um it's kind of it sits too high up so you can't rest your pen on the paper but these journals actually make it easier to write too they're thin enough that they lay flat and they're dot grid which I usually don't go for but the paper is smooth enough and I don't know, I like that I could throw it in a bag or take it to the park. It's kind of why I got these. Um, so this is the one I'm using right now. It's just kind of, I haven't really ridden at the park. It's kind of hard to ride in a park. Like there's wind and bugs and like nowhere to ride on. Um, but I like the idea of riding in a park. I just usually ride on a desk in here or something. Just like wherever I go, this is like a portable one. Um, this washi tape. It's kind of plain, but it goes with all this stuff. I don't really have anything. I think the only rainbow stuff I have is like a rainbow pin case from when I was a kid and a rainbow jacket. Like, I don't really have much colorful stuff anymore. It's kind of weird, but um, I don't know if it's like an aging thing. I want more neutral colors or if it's just because, I don't know. Um, maybe my style is just, I don't know. Does style change over time? <laughs> Um, I still love rainbows, but this pen I've had a few years. I've been using this pretty much um, as my main pen in this journal. And it's a bandeau one. It says say yes and sometimes no. And it's just a rollerball. It's actually easier to write with this because you can like stab the paper <laughs> and um, rest your hand on the pen. Like kind of, I don't know. This one's, I've pretty much just been using this one. I used to switch pens a lot, like every page, but I don't really have many pens now. But I did get more recently. Uh, I'd actually bought a journal at Barnes & Noble and then that one was just kind of brightly colored and the, it had dot grid paper too and I already have some dot grid now. So I ended up exchanging it for these pens because like why do I not need Kate's pen, Kate Spade pens? It's kind of excessive. Um, but I don't have many pens and I wanted something just excessive. <laughs> so they, they weren't, they, well, I'm cheap so anything is more than I want to pay, but they're not terribly priced at least. Um, they have gold uh, edging, or not edging, cap things that it's kind of what wanted made me think they looked fancy and I wanted them because of that. They had some gel pens too that didn't have the best reviews, so I got these instead. It's These are like fine width felt tip, I think. I can't really see, uh, but it's just a fine tip something. I can't really see what it is so tiny that I can't tell if it's a rollerball that's super fine. I think it is a super fine rollerball. Um, I thought it was felt. I could have sworn the 
the, the case said felt, but anyway, it's the color of the ink is the color of the pen. And since I don't have many pens, it's um, just fun to add some colors, even though my entire place is like neutral colors. Um, I, I don't know. I kind of want to get some more colorful crap in my life and more stickers. These are actually all the stickers I have right now. Um, I got these at Five Below a few months ago. And I don't really go there much because it's kind of loud and like really the aisles are so crowded that you can barely get your cart around. And I'm old and crappy so I don't like to go there. But it's at least not as loud as it used to be. It used to be louder than a club, like a nightclub over, over here. And thankfully they've toned it down with the music a little. Um, their stickers are... These are Sandy Line stickers, and they're, I want to say they're like $2, so they're pretty decently priced. Um, came with the, the other glittery crap, too. I actually don't really like the glittery ones. It kind of hurts my eyes and just isn't, it's like a pattern on top of a pattern. It's just too busy. So, like, I just going to use these. And then went to Michael's. Um, I made a charm necklace recently, and um, a, I don't know what you call it, like a frame old jewelry art. I took some of my grandparents' jewelry and some of my old jewelry and glued it into a framed art piece. Um, I'll show you that once it's dry. It's been drying for five days. I used so much glue. It's not, I used like, um, I think it's Arnell, Ardell's tacky glue and it's still, still drying. <laughs> not clear yet, all the way. But I'll show you that at some point. Um, but anyway, got these sticker holes there and, um, this, all my furniture is like really uncomfortable. I was cheap and I wanted just, um, like a kind of vintage -y look. So it's just, I never really sit on here. We're in my office and I like to look at, look at this. I bought this used off Amazon and it, it looks fine. But if you're actually sitting on it long, you're not going to be able to feel your butt in a, in a few minutes. <laughs> Especially when you're as old as me. But, um, this is my crap. <laughs> I've always wanted to name a video like this, like my goodies, but I also don't want to get banned. So, um, my neighbor's really distracting. Uh, stomping all the time, 24 7 is my favorite. Um, neighbors suck. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I've tried to make this video so many times and I've tried to make a ton more recently and I just, like, can't make a video like I want it for anything. So I'm going to just leave it like it is. It's fun to have people that share my interests because a lot of people just don't like, they're not into journaling or pins. Like if I, I don't know, if I showed this to someone, I don't really, like I have one local friend and um, parents and that's pretty much the appeal of my life. I have a few online pen pals I occasionally <laughs> write every few months because I'm bad at getting back to people. But anyway, if I, like had local friends and showed it to them I don't think they would really be that excited about a pin set that I went out and got so um I like the internet for that and I miss interacting with people in here there's not really another way to like interact with people here other than Instagram or here and Instagram's a ghost town and not really a good way to keep up with people other than just I don't know like commenting on pictures but that's not really back and forth um, all right, I'm going to leave it at that. I need caffeine and I'm going to go in the sunshine with all the weeds and the falling down fence because I live in the ghetto, but I might go to the park. It'll be a little bit nicer than sitting outside in the hood. I mean, it's also the hood, but <laughs> it's a prettier, prettier hood. City-maintained park. All right, have a good night. Bye. It's not even night. Have a good day. Bye.